Desiree and I kept smelling like vomit or shit, and we thought it was coming from the septic tank. Sterling's taking a nap, and we're like, oh, it kind of smells like it's from this, this area. Like, wait a second, it smells like it's coming from upstairs. We moved, oh my god. Hi, bud. What have you? <laughs> oh, God. Sterling, no, no. Buddy. What happened? Did you touch your face? Oh. That's a no no. That's yuck. Yuck. Oh, God. <coughs> oh, you painted the walls. No, no. I can't believe we smelled it all the way downstairs. I'll get the bath going. What vlog could you possibly include this in? What vlog? It's gonna be a vlog of its own. <laughs> this is its own episode. This is a pure warning. <laughs> don't have kids. <laughs> Just don't do it. I say we burn it. We burn it all. Set the whole house on fire, claim insurance. Oh God, it smells like a mix of vomit and shit. I don't know what happened. Ugh. Have you been feeding him that cheese downstairs? No. Because it smells just like that cheese. I don't stop, know if I could stop, ever stop, eat it. Stop, 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 stop. <laughs> I'm dead serious. <laughs> Sterling, what have you done? Both you out. Go. You don't want to be here. Just go. The whole house stinks. I know. Like all the way down to the front door. He wasn't even talking. He was silent. I thought he was fast asleep. The silent smearer. <laughs> Somehow I'll manage to turn this footage into something artistic. You'll see. God, it's terrible. Horrendous little monster. They all so good. Good job, babe. You hungry? I'm starving. <laughs> I can't wait to eat. Yeah, we're brushing your teeth because we don't know how much human feces you've ingested, son. It'll be a miracle if the whole household doesn't get pink eye. Do you understand? You do? Brush your filthy teeth. No, you get back here. Shoes! Shoes! No, you can't just poop your pants and then expect to wear your shoes. In the house. Oh. Wow. Wow, you know what that is? That's a big tub you'll never wow. sit in. This is my special treat. My jacuzzi. Ooh. I have been trying to get Max to finish the bathroom renovations for a long time, and the only way I could get him excited enough to do it was agreeing to get this ginormous, ridiculous jacuzzi tub. Ooh, but the, so long as he's happy, I guess he'll do the it. Jacuzzi. Oh, I fit! Look at that. I haven't been able to fit into a bathtub since I was 13. So this is great. Look, it's got jets for your feet. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I can't wait. Since I've been off work for a while, I'm gonna use my trusty fireman's axe. You ready? Oh my god! I've been working in this bathroom for a couple days now. We're gonna go turn the tub on for the first time. 
Hopefully there's no disaster, we'll see. I'm nervous. Obviously, it's not ready. Oh God. Did you putty the green thing? Yeah, it's good. I got leakage right here, though. Uh oh. That's why we put in an access panel. Well, it's not done, but here. Here's here's where it's at now. Maybe you guys will see more of it in the future. But uh Turned out pretty good, I think. We're going to do a concrete countertop over here, but um just way more open in here. Looks lovely. My beautiful tub. Let me know what you guys think. I think it turned out pretty good. So that took me about a week minus Easter. We took Easter off and then got back to it. So uh, for the rest of this episode, I just wanted to give you guys a few updates on a few things. Oh. I almost just broke through this chair. <laughs> that was bad. All right, so I've had a few people ask me uh, how my knee is doing. It's doing a lot better. I'm still off of work. I'm out on a disability. Get out of here. And uh, just for a little bit longer, hopefully, hopefully not past June, but um, I am actually walking without crutches. I'm doing good, as you guys have seen in some of these videos. Feeling a lot better, but still have a long ways to go. Also, I just got, I got the receipt and I got the key to a new P.O. box because the response to the last, last video where we did a mail time was amazing. I had a lot of people interested in sending stuff here. And so like I said last time, uh, this isn't just a ploy for me to get cool free stuff. I mean, it, you know, it kind of is, but it's more of an opportunity for me to help share your guys' stuff. So if you're part of an off-road club, if you're a part of, um, you know, an overlanding group, if you are a part of a small company trying to get your stuff out there, here we go. I have a platform to share your guys' stuff. So. P.O. Box 163, Rochester, Washington, 98579. That will be the P.O. Box. This will be the key. All right, so I have four packages to open today, which is super exciting. They're a lot bigger than they were last time. And look how cool this is. This one's got a squiggly snake on it, and that's exciting. I'm gonna start with this letter. Thank you for the support, my man. Your channel kicks ass. Keep up the work, one day we will link up. Signed, G. Hashtag live way out. Oh, I know who this is from. All right, that's legit. So I got a whole bunch of stickers from the Live Way Out crew. They're on Instagram. I will link them below. And I'm gonna scroll through some of their pictures here right now. There we go. Pretty awesome, thank you very much. Those are cool, and so many of them. Yeah, these these are from my buddies at um, Tough Skins. So they made the raised decals that go on my TRD Pro grill. These are rings that are gonna go around the air conditioning vents just to sort of add your own personal touch to them. I just hit 13,000 subscribers and we want to do a giveaway where we'll give away a set of these. To enter, subscribe to me on YouTube, follow Tough Skins on Instagram, and in the comments section below on this video, write what color Tough Skin AC vents you want, and that will enter you in to win, and I'll do the drawing on the video when I install these. All right, moving on. This one's heavy. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. Check these out, guys. These are cool. Ah! These are from my friends at Cali Raised LED. They're no longer just an LED company. You know what these are? These are steel bed stiffeners. So if you run if you run a rooftop tent on your bed, like say Overland bars or anything like that, or a rack, you need a set of these. Because what it does is it puts stress on the bed of your truck 
and it forces the beds to open up because we just have the composite beds on the Tacomas. So you, these are super cool. I'm stoked about these. I'm gonna do a, uh, an install video of these just alone, but it looks like they have tie down spots. You got all sorts of spots to tie down to, but really, these are, are a, a protective piece, you know? Especially important if you do any kind of like pre-running or like fast mobbing, these are important. You're gonna want a set of these. These are awesome. Super excited to get a set of these. I will be installing those probably next week because so my truck is full of trash that needs to go to the dump. This is what their logo looks like. You can follow them at Cali Raised Off Road on Instagram. Oh. And last but not least, this one I'm super stoked for. Got the squiggly snake on it. This one was sent to me by Durden's1911. Uh, he works for this company, Black Rifle Coffee Company, which you might have heard of. I'm super excited. This is a veteran-owned company that makes coffee and very American videos. And I've been stoked to try this out. I love coffee. I have like three to four cups a day. Yeah, I have, I have quite a bit. So I'm excited to see what's in this box. It, it's pretty heavy. I love that their business is veteran owned and operated and wow, that smells good. Let's see what we got right here. Oh, dude, a new hat. That is so sick. I wasn't expecting a hat. I got this hat from these guys, Adventure Overland, last week. Been loving the crap out of this hat. That is very nice. And now I got a black one to add to the collection. Awesome, that is sweet. Yes, whole beans. Here we go, this one's called Gunship. I love the packaging on these. Silence are smooth. They got like AKs and M16s and Uzis all over them. JB, just black. And AK Espresso. That is so awesome. Man, they smell good too. Freedom. Mmm. Oh, yeah. That's awesome. Two stickers. This one is, looks like an M16. It's a scary black rifle, and this is what probably you'd call a scary white rifle. Awesome, you guys know I love my guns. Sweet, this one's going on the truck, for sure. Man, I feel more American already. Uh, I've been watching their channel for a long, long time. Uh, it is an honor for me to receive something from them. Uh, I just wish I had something to give them. So. Uh, I think I'm gonna come up with some sort of patch or something to, to send back as like a thank you. So that is it for today. I'm gonna try all this coffee out in future episodes because I'm drinking a pre, man that smells good. Maybe I should just make some. Woo. That is pretty much it for today. Thank you so much. Remember, if you want to send me something to share on my channel like this hat or this coffee or this box, P.O. Box 163, Rochester, Washington, 98579. It's going to be in the description below. Take care now. Bye-bye then.